Okay, we're dealing with three by three matrices. This is a three by three matrix uh, video. Uh, here's a set of equations which we can easily convert to um, to a system of equations, right? Using the coefficients. It's just a bigger matrix system. You've got your variables, your x, your y, your z, and your constant matrix, your 6, 3, and 12. Now this is what we call matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. And we know that in order to get matrix X, we want to left multiply by A inverse, and when we do that, we end up with A inverse B. And as I said in class, it didn't matter what size A inverse and B were, because it works for all situations like this. But this is one where we're going to do it with the graphing calculator. So, grab your graphing calculators here. Let's expand this out just a little bit. Get into your matrix button and jump over to where it says edit. We are going to edit matrix A. Hit the enter button. You get to pick what size you want A to be, and then we want it to be a 3 by 3 and it's going to have coefficients of 1 and 1 and 1 and 2 and negative 3 and 4 and 4 and negative 8 and 4. Now, could data entry be a big problem if I'm doing lots of stuff on the graphing calculator? The answer is yes. So make sure you enter the information correctly. Uh, secondly, all right, so now I uh, go back to my matrix button the edit section and this time matrix 2 or matrix B we want it to be a 3 by 1 matrix with entries of 6 3 and 12 jumping back to my home screen by quitting quit is above the word mode now we're gonna hit the matrix button again but this time instead of going to edit we want to choose matrix A by hitting enter. We want its inverse, so we hit the x to the negative 1 button. So find the x to the negative 1 button. And then matrix again, and this time matrix B. And when we hit enter, it will spit out the value of x, y, and z as 7, 1, and negative 2. So we immediately know that x, y, z is 7, 1, and negative 2. Very simple, very easy. Now, if you have missing variables, let's say some of these variables up here were missing. Please make sure you insert zeros for those. Please also make sure your constants are on the right side, so if you have if this was a minus 6 over here, you would put the 6 on the right side for your constant. You only want variables on the left side of your equal signs. The constants sit on the right side. Now, we can also use matrices uh, to solve systems of equations to find conics. In other words, what if you gave me the point 1, 9, the point 4, 6, and the point 6, 14, and you told me that those points were on a parabola. And I needed to find the exact parabola that contained these three points. We're going to make ours of the form ax squared plus bx plus C equals Y. Maybe I should scribble it out and make that a little Y. So if I plug in the three points, I make three different equations. 1 squared times A is just A. 
1 times b is b. c is by itself, and 9 goes over here. So in other words, I plug this point into the equation, and this is what I got. All right, do the same thing, but with the next coordinate. So 4 is the x value. That makes 16a plus 4b plus 1c equals 6. Plug in the last coordinate. 36a plus 6b plus c equals 14. So by plugging those in, now I can set up my matrix A. 1, 1, 1, 16, 4, 1, and 36, 6, 1. Of course, I want the inverse of that times the constant matrix of 9, 6, 14. So this is what I want to tell my calculator to do. So we'll jump back into the matrix edit section. Okay, when I have the matrix edit section, I got a 3 by 3. Top row looks good. Then I want a 16, a 4, and a 1. Oops. 16, 4, 1. And 36, 6, 1. Under my matrix B, I want that obviously to be a 3 by 1 of 9, 6, and 14. Then when I quit to my home screen, I'm going to hit second enter, which brings up the last calculator instruction. And it's going to nicely tell me that the values of A, B, and C are 1, negative 6, and 14. 1, negative 6, and 14. So A equals 1, B equals negative 6, and C equals 14. So we are looking at X squared. Plus, oops, minus 6x plus 14 equals y. That's the parabola we're dealing with. Now this can also be done with circles. But in the case of a circle, you must assume that a equals 1 and b also equals 1. So that's an assumption we're going to make. We know that in a circle the two coefficients of the squared terms are both positive and they're the same. So we're, we can make that assumption that they are equal and we'll just make them equal to 1. That may mean that C, D, and E end up being nasty numbers uh, and we have to figure out what, you know, what would make them more reasonable. But let's suppose we were given coordinates of negative 2, 3, 6, negative 5, and 0, 7. And we were being asked to come up with our equations. Well, okay, so let's see here. What, what are we going to do here? Negative 2 is the x value, so that means we have negative 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, minus 2x, plus 3d, plus e equals 0. Then we have 36 plus 25 plus 6x minus, oops, 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 that's a C. Whoa, what am I doing? Minus 5D plus E equals 0. 0 plus 49 plus 0c, which obviously is going to be eliminated, plus 7d plus e equals 0. Okay, now, these things are constants and need to be taken to the other sides of the equations. So this is negative 2c plus 3d plus e equals negative 13. 
and 6c minus 5d plus e equals, uh, what do we got there? 50, 61, negative 61. And 7d plus e equals negative 49. Well, we're going to change this to a matrix format. Do the exact same thing we were doing before. We got a negative 2, a 3, and a 1. 6, negative 5, and 1. 0, 7, and 1. We want the inverse of that times negative 13, negative 61, negative 49. Okay, so let's see if I can quickly do that. Matrix. Edit 3 by 3. We want this to be negative 2, 3, and 1. 6, negative 5, and 1. 0, 7, and 1. Go back to the matrix. Edit matrix B. 3 by 1 matrix. Negative 13, negative 61, negative 49. And we go back to the Second enter, second enter, until we find it again. Hit the enter button. We got negative 10, negative 4, negative 21. So uh, C is equal to negative 10, D equals negative 4, and E equals negative 21. So we have X squared plus Y squared minus 10X minus 4Y minus 21 equals 0. And there is our circle. And we will mess around with that in class.